Hey y'all, I'm coming today to do a video. I made this video once, but when I was, I always watch my videos and it was a couple of things I didn't talk about. Plus it was a little bit long. So I'm going to try to cut it down some. Today I'm talking about things that we talk about while you're pregnant and things that we don't talk about while you're pregnant. Um, the reason that I'm making this video, I wanted to make this video, but yesterday we had a, um, like a giveaway, like a dress giveaway at my church, um, where we were, you know, supplying, um girls with like prom dresses and stuff like that and the three girls that were helping us all of them are either sophomores or freshmen in college and the conversations that we were having in our downtime was hilarious because some kind of way pregnancy came up it is hilarious to me that i'm the one pregnant and you know i don't bring up pregnancy like that they do sometimes which is funny um so the first thing i want to talk about is um you know, we all know about pregnancy, um, morning sickness. Now, what I personally did not know is that, um, first of all, I mean, we all, I hope we all know by this point that it's just called morning sickness because you can have, um, you can be sick all day. Disclaimer, my hair is in a ponytail. I need to wash it. I haven't been able to wash it all week because we've been having issues with our hot water, which just got fixed. Excuse me. Also, this is all day makeup. I slept on this makeup, which is a no-no. I slept on it as soon as I came home from church. I did not put on lipstick or anything. I just put on some gloss for church. So that's my video disclaimer. But anyways, the morning sickness. Um, I didn't know that morning sickness. You can have it to a degree. Like, we all, like, even myself, a lot of the videos that I've seen say, oh, you have, you know, morning sickness is rough. The pregnancy is hard. You know, that first trimester, it's just kind of hard. And you can have morning sickness and, um, you know, like just the first trimester. What people don't talk about is morning sickness comes and goes because we are 21 weeks. Um, we're in our second trimester and I can have morning sickness at the drop of a dime. It's not consistent like it was the first trimester. Like first trimester, I knew, you know, every day i was gonna get sick at some point every day um now i'm to the point where if i feel too full or something like that and it and i really don't have to eat a whole lot if i feel too full i can have i can just throw up like i could throw up at the drop of a dime which is crazy um it's a it's a curse it was a curse during the first trimester it's a it's kind of sort of a blessing now because because of the um the extremeness of my morning sickness i actually lost a lot of weight um i lost in about three weeks i lost um 15 pounds in about three weeks so now i'm actually smaller weight wise than i was before i got pregnant because i've only gained like four or five pounds back so i'm smaller um which is kind of good. Uh, the doctor says, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Which I had, I had already kind of looked at it and, you know, saw that some plus size women do lose weight, um, depending on your size. Believe it or not, um, like if you're, you know, like really, really big, the doctors actually suggest that you lose weight while you're pregnant. Um, so the extreme morning sickness. Um, that's like I said, we all know about morning sickness, but. I did not know that you can like I know one person who had more extreme morning sickness almost to the point where she was in the hospital like monthly her entire pregnancy. I can't think of the medical term for it because I did look it up because I at one point y'all I was thinking Lord is this what I got because I was just okay so that's one thing second thing um these are not really in order but i'm just looking at the paper and it's kind of sort of what i experienced during my first trimester at, you know i'm talking about that stuff first the spitting i have said this in another video um i had to have a spit cup actually two i had to have one designated for the uh for our car and one for the house it was really bad oh god weeks y'all i don't know what it was about weeks like six to nine for some things and then they kind of slacked up and then six to 12 you know for other things like i don't know but my the spitting was terrible i can't think of the name of there is an actual medical term for excessive spinning during pregnancy i can't think of the name for that either um but i had that really really bad i had only known of one person who had that and so far on youtube i've only really seen one person talk about that on youtube um 
It has slacked down a lot. I don't necessarily have to have a spit cup, but it's still really bad. Like right now, my mouth is full of spit. It's still really bad. I can be watching TV, you know, minding my business, and all of a sudden, I will just start drooling. Like, yeah. And it's weird because, you know, you think you drool at night, like when you're asleep. It's not even, no, it can be during the daytime. You're just randomly up and you will just start drooling. Okay. Another thing that I experienced my first trimester, which was really bad, um, this experience was insomnia, pregnancy insomnia. I had pregnancy insomnia really bad. Um, it com that comes and goes too. So the pregnant, the spitting can come and go. Pregnant, all of your pregnancy symptoms. Please, please do not think that there is any pregnancy symptom that you're pretty much just gonna have doing. You know, oh, this is just at the first trimester and that's it. Because the pregnancy insomnia, I would go to sleep. Like I would try to force myself to go to sleep, and. I would I would try to force myself to go to sleep and I would get up at like three in the morning. I would be up at like three in the morning. If y'all hear something, it's the refrigerator. I would be up at like three in the morning and I would not be able to force myself to go back to sleep until five, six, seven. I mean, and I, I don't work, but I do volunteer at my church and you know, I have to get up eight thirty, nine o'clock. And yeah, so that just causes you causes you to be really um, tired and sleepy. Um, I I guess I haven't hit that stage where, like my first trimester, I could go to sleep during the daytime at a drop of a dime. I really could. I haven't hit the stage again where I'm just tired. Like oh, I just need a nap. Um, I can tell it's coming. I can tell it's starting because um, I can tell it's slowly, slowly starting. But that. Oh, I'm just, you know, you know, just I drop it down. That hasn't actually started yet, but I could tell my body is starting to get tired. Um, but yeah, the pregnancy and some, you know, like I said, that comes and goes because every now and then I will wake up at, excuse me, every now and then I'll wake up at like three, four o'clock in the morning and I'm just up about to cry because I really want to be asleep, but I'm just up. I don't know if that's your body's way of getting you prepared for some sleepless, sleepless nights with a newborn. I, I, I don't know. But if it is, I guess I should be thankful. But yeah. Okay. Something else that um, I do want to talk about is breathing. Um, I, if I sound like I'm out of breath, I am. I'm constantly out of breath. And I know that we think of, when you think of, you know, not being able to breathe and just that heavy feeling, a lot of us think that it happens, you know, when you're well into your third trimester, you're like seven, eight months and, you know, you, you towards the end. No, that starts, that started really early for me. I've seen women who, unfortunately, I've seen videos of women saying it started even earlier. Um, for me, it has like the last month or so it really has started to get bad so i would say from like four months and you know and on but some women say they i mean from like they were like a month pregnant you know and, and it has nothing to do with how big you are because one of the ladies you know is a really really slim lady but she said from like in every one of her pregnancies um she pretty much like from very early on first trimester her she could not breathe one thing that I want to say that um, I've noticed from our ectopic pregnancy and this pregnancy that has started, that's something that really is from day one for me is heat. I, I've said this in like, all you know, a lot of my videos, I get really, really hot. That's one of the things that kind of made me say, wait a minute, am I pregnant? Because I get so hot. Um, like now, if I get too hot, I get sick. I have to, you know, it's, it's kind of difficult for me at church because sometimes I get in the spirit and... I have to try to keep myself calm or I have to go outside and just let some air hit me because I will get hot and I will, you know, start throwing up. Um, pregnancy constipation. Yay. Whoopee. Y'all, I did not know. I This is one thing I didn't know was a thing. <laughs> um, and it's, I mean, this may be nasty. I don't care. I'm being honest. Um, and honestly, this, I don't think it really has anything to do really with your diet because, well, I don't know. I don't eat a lot of junk food. 
Um, so I really haven't gained a lot of, I, like I said, I haven't gained weight uh, because my husband is in the army, um, you know, so we are a military family and I don't buy a lot of stuff. I don't buy like sodas. I don't buy like the only kind of like chips. I buy like pop chips, you know, like that are air pop, stuff like that. Like just a big, huge bag of Doritos stuff. No, I don't buy all that because he has to stay in shape. I drink water because like I said in another video that I have to post I was getting dehydrated so I drink water I drink a lot of water I try to get 70 ounces a day um, or at least a hundred ounces every two days I'll try to like if I know I haven't hit 70 one day I'll make sure to hit 70 because I have a cup that I measure it but I have noticed even when I drink a lot of water and I'm, I'm doing my, you know, good on my water. Um, I'm not eating a lot of junk food. I'm doing good on fruit and yogurt and stuff like that. I, the pregnancy constipation is real. It is terrible. Um, so yeah, you may experience pregnancy constipation. Um, everything has to do with hormones. It has to do with the changing hormones in your body. So yeah, that's one, that's another one that I know that's one that we don't want to talk about, but it's one that is very real. Um, Pregnancy acne is another one that we don't want to talk about, but it's very real. We are having a boy. Um, I haven't posted. I have I already recorded, but I haven't posted our announcement video yet. But I knew I was having a boy from day one, honestly, because of, because of my skin. From my personal experience, everybody who I've ever personally known who were pregnant with a boy, their skin would break out really bad um, early on. And eventually they find they were having a boy. So when we first found out we was pregnant and I started to notice, hey, my skin is breaking out. You know, that's when I said, you know what? I think I'm going to end up having a boy. Well, I do the whole watch week, week by week when you're pregnancy. And I saw that this week, 21 weeks and up, even if you have not experienced any acne, um, 21 weeks and up, your face naturally starts to produce more oil and it honestly it creates acne it is it creates really bad pregnancy acne and that's something that's very common even if you have not experienced acne early in your pregnancy so okay sorry y'all i had to um pause it because the tv came on um so what i was saying was that when like i said the week by week you know like what to expect while you're pregnant if you have not experienced pregnancy acne, be ready because it's going to come. Um, so they say that, that what you should do is increase your, uh, you know, what your, you know, the, how many times you're watching, washing, excuse me, your face. Um, I am trying. I know. It's, I know. I said I set up on with makeup on today, which is terrible. But I did. I noticed um, within the, this week, seriously, I have noticed that the act like. Yeah, I've noticed more breakouts like all over here. Like I was at first, I was just getting breakouts up here, but now I'm getting breakouts all over my face and I've noticed it. Um, so I am uh, increasing washing my face and being more diligent about making sure that when I take my makeup off, I'm washing my face at least twice after I take the makeup off. Okay, another thing that I have always, I've known, um, this for a couple of years is it is very good um, but i saw it in the week by week um i've known for years but if you do not go to the dentist it is very good that you go to the dentist um during your pregnancy because um plaque buildup can they, they have linked plaque buildup to miscarriages um i've known that even when i was single um you know the dentist would you know would tell me hey you know um you know it's really good that you consistently come because if you ever want to have kids you want to you know you want to stay on top of making sure your your gums are healthy and all that um which to me that is crazy but that's something that i mean i've known for years <sighs> next itching one thing that for me personally that has been as bad as the morning sickness as bad as the spit has been itching my breast especially i know when you're pregnant your breasts enlarge but my breast itch so bad so it's not even funny like seriously my breast i have i've said this in other videos i have actually scratched off the skin on my breast because they itch so bad um peeing I mean, peeing is something else that, you know, it can come and go. 
like I can drink the exact same amount of water, honestly. And some days I'm going like a racehorse. Some days I don't have to go at all. Um, cravings. I don't crave anything. I crave, well, technically my husband says I crave fruit. I feel like I crave fruit by default because my first trimester, everything gave me heartburn. I could not keep anything down except for fruit. Um, citrus fruit gave me heartburn, so I would eat like strawberries, pears, grapes, stuff like that. So, and to this day, like, I'm so scared because I'll get a flare-up of heartburn, which heartburn is something else that can start very early on. You don't have to be good and pregnant. It can start very, very early on because I had the worst heartburn I had, I had like for two weeks straight, and it was, um... I was having heartburn around the time of the Super Bowl. Y'all, we were barely three months pregnant then, you know. So, yeah. And I don't get heart. I haven't had heartburn as bad since then. Uh, so, don't think you have to be, you know, good and pregnant. And Because, you know, they say the myth, oh, the baby's going to have a lot of hair. At this point, he, he still look like a little alien or something. Um... I'm not sure if I said it, but breathing, um, you're always out of breath. That can start from day one. The pregnancy waddle, and I'm going to wrap this video up. The pregnancy waddle could actually start from early on as well. I personally, er, I mean, first trimester, I started to notice um, my back. I know that when you're pregnant, when you get about 20 weeks or so, they tell you not to sleep on your back. They tell you not to sleep on your left side. Um, you're just really supposed to sleep on your right side. Um, because of blood flow it's better blood flow to the baby plus it you're sleeping on your back actually another thing you know as far as like it's good blood flow for the baby but it actually makes your back hurt worse i'm a back sleeper so early on like now i just really try not to sleep on my back some days i wake up um on my back but i really try not to honestly um but i have had the pregnancy waddle and like I said earlier, like pounds wise, I'm smaller. My stomach is actually getting huge, but I'm smaller. But I guess it's because I have so much weight like focused in my stomach now. Yeah, I have like I have the waddle. And me and my husband joke about it all the time. I'm like, yeah, I really look pregnant. He like, yeah, you really look pregnant. Um, so y'all, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, it's just funny to me. Like I said yesterday, the conversation was really good. It was really funny. Um, the girls, like, they did not know that when you're pregnant, your organs move and shift and enlarge and you know to expand for the baby. They didn't know that. Um, you know, and I was telling them stuff like normal stuff, and they just, just you know, was like amazed. So again, the purpose of this video. It's just to talk about some stuff that we all you may know or you may not know and give my experience because I you know some stuff like I said as far as like the morning sickness and um, stuff like that I knew about but I did not know that it was to the severity or I didn't know that it could happen how it happens but as always y'all I do thank y'all for watching I was able to cut this video down a little bit um, I do make videos strictly because I like doing them. Um, I need to, hopefully if our internet is working right, I'm going to upload the rest of these videos. But again, y'all, thank y'all for watching and have a blessed day.